able to win with him on the court at this time. And I think the direction with our team is that he is a player that would be better off somewhere else and using his talent somewhere where he can win or chase that championship. That was Phil Jackson on Friday. Mello with the subliminal clapback posting this shot from the great Gatsby with the caption, really? Hashtag stay mellow on Twitter. Now, apparently, Christoph Porzingis is over the Knickerbockers drama, too. According to Ian Begley, he skipped his exit interview with Phil Jackson and members of the Knicks front office and is headed back to Latvia until training camp. Buckle up, folks. Stephen A., your reaction to the latest. <sighs> I'll get into my disgust with Phil Jackson in just a second. I want to applaud Chris Porzingis uh, for making the move that he made, departing for Latvia and reportedly not intending to show back up to until near training camp. He's disgusted with the Knicks organization. They're an absolute Preach. embarrassment, and I completely support him in that regard. I do not support Carmelo Anthony staying mellow because if there's one problem I have with Mello, it's that he's been too damn mellow. There comes a point in time where you got to man up and speak up for yourself. I know that the man has been interviewed on numerous occasions. I know that the man has answered questions every day practically for the last six months. But the venom and the hostility that Phil Jackson has put on public display towards this man for months, he has basically, figuratively speaking, slapped Carmelo Anthony around while Carmelo Anthony has done little to nothing to defend himself. And that disturbs me because he is in the right. He deserves better than this. Phil Jackson is wrong. And it's a damn shame that Chris Porzingis seems to be more willing to call Phil Jackson out than Carmelo Anthony. Now let me get to Phil Jackson. He is an absolute disgrace. He needs to get the hell out of New York City big time, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I am an advocate of what I was years ago, right before Phil Jackson was hired. I think people need to protest outside the streets of Madison Square Garden until this man is gone. He does not care. I believe he's trying to get himself fired. I believe the only reason why Phil Jackson is still in New York is because he wants the $24 million left that he's owed, and by quitting, he can't get the money. But if he were to get fired, he'd get to keep the money. Somehow, someway, the billion there, that is James Dolan, who can write this off on his taxes yesterday, needs to find a way to get Phil Jackson the hell out of town. I'm so damn disgusted that this damn Phil Jackson is still in New York City. I don't even know what to do with myself, Max Kellerman. I don't even understand how you, the ultimate cool, I'm going to start calling you instead of Max. I'm going to call you the Matrix because I don't understand how you can be so damn cool claiming to be a New Yorker, claiming to be a Knicks fan, how you can sit here and be so cool in elocuting and articulating words about Phil Jackson without the resident level of disgust that I am feeling. I don't know what I would do to Phil Jackson if he showed this face. This man is a disgrace because he's seven in the Knicks. He's throwing everything away. You see the coaches he's hired and nobody says anything. Oh, the players, the players, the players, the contract for Joakim Noah and Derek, Fitz, Derek Rose trade and Melo. What about the damn coaches for crying out loud? He still got Kurt Rambis on there, who I like, but is hated by all the coaches, by all the players. They can't stand the man, okay? And still he's there. This is a disgrace and somebody needs to do something about Phil Jackson right now. Get him the hell out of New York. Go ahead. Phil Jackson, <clears throat> Phil Jackson's not even the problem. The problem is James Dolan. And by the way, Phil Jackson's um, <clears throat> option was exercised. So now the next two, the final two years kick in. Uh, this is the point where Knicks fans feel utter despair. This is the most helpless, yes! most infuriating feeling that a sports fan can feel. And it's not about protesting until Phil Jackson leaves town. It's about protesting until James Dolan sells the team or else puts it in a blind trust or something. I mean, he's got to right. get away from this team. He's got to right. stay making decisions. But Dolan how do you makes do it? every bad. I, it, this is the problem. Stephen A., when I think about what he just did to Carmelo, now, you and I have different opinions about how great Carmelo is. And I, but he's, he's a great scorer. There's no doubt about that. And he's given his all to the franchise and the team and the city for that matter. And even now, Phil Jackson's phrasing where he can go chase a championship. What a jerk. Why would you say you still got to down him even as you're trying to convince him to waive his no trade clause? You got to down him in that way. Take those little subtle shots. And that's one thing. That sucks for Carmelo. I get it. 
But, but that's looking forward. That's not what these Knicks are about. I mean, hopefully, they'd be able to get something really good for Carmelo to build around Porzingis. But Phil is undermining Carmelo's trade value. It's idiotic. But then you look at Porzingis. Not only does Porzingis, you're absolutely right, stand up to Phil and Dolan and say, to hell with this, I'm going to skip my exit interview. Not only does he, does he do that, and that's great for Porzingis, Phil Jackson then is unwilling to say that Porzingis is untouchable? Well, no one's untouchable. Don't hide behind that. You have a seven-foot-three. You have a guy almost the size of Yao Ming who can play in a spread offense, who can defend the, the, the rim, who can shoot from three, who can take bigs off the dribble, who can do everything you want a modern big to do. You can build around this guy. The whole idea is to find that guy. They found him. They have him. They're not only poisoning him, but they're throwing out there that they would be willing to trade him, essentially. If you read the, the blogs out of Boston, they're all talking about, well, would you give up the draft pick for Porzingis? Well, of course you would, because you don't know about a draft pick, but you know Porzingis is a bad dude and is very likely to get even better. They are not only holding back his progress and his development as a star, they actually, this fell out of the heavens into their lap because they picked fourth. They couldn't get the draft pick wrong. It just fell into their lap, and they're still going to screw it up going forward. It is an impossible thing to be a Knicks fan. Something has to be done about it, Stephen A. You're absolutely right. Dolan needs to sell the team. He's needed to sell it. But there needs to be a concerted effort to organize some kind of a protest so that he does. Well, how are you going to do that when everybody got their cable? Have you, have you tried to get cable in New York City? Oh, I mean, you, so can't go, you can't go through cable vision. Or is it optimum it's so or whatever? Annoying. I mean, who the hell it's is it in the area? You can't get around it, Max. How are you going to get rid of the owner when I'm the owner's Island, giving yeah. you other he, when, he, when he's giving you other things outside of basketball. I mean, maybe if there was some way to get him to divest his interest in the Knicks while keeping everything else, maybe we could work with him. Maybe a negotiation could take place. But my God, nobody could peel ownership away from the man. That's the only reason why I haven't given, I haven't taken him the task. But it's clear, Phil You're Jackson right. is not somebody New Yorkers need. He doesn't even want to be here. He wants to be in L.A., let him go And back. by the way, by the way, he has, the, I've read his books, you know, the latest one, The Eleven Rings, and he talks about the different phases of team building. Yeah. Phil's got to look in the mirror. What phase are you on, Phil? You're still on phase one after three years. You've lost twice as much as you've won. You're going to just throw up your hands and blame it on the players not buying in? Do you ever look in the mirror and wonder why they're I'm not with buying you. I read in? It too. Maybe it's a, it doesn't work. It's a lot work. of child's play, Max, for sure. Stephen A., you all right? Take a deep breath. Woo, stop. I just, I just, just can't breathe. take it. Just breathe. Breathe. I just can't take it. The Knicks had a game a couple of months ago. I didn't even know when I was three blocks away. That's how disinterested you don't in them need the I stress am. In your life. Coming up, we're debuting a new segment. It's called Your Take, where you all get to weigh in on the show. We're going to cover the hottest topics on the internet streets, like Odell Beckham's new tattoo. Have you seen it? And is it a good luck? Plus, do LeBron and the Cavs have something to worry about? They got 